Hi, I'm Coco. And I'm Breezy. And, and we're Coco, Coco and Breezy. And we're with Young Magazine. When we actually came up with the idea of creating sunglasses, it started off with our love for sunglasses. Coco and I, we're from Minnesota, and we grew up with a lot of people not really understanding us, so we would always wear sunglasses to kind of protect our eyes and, and like a shit of protection. Yeah. So when I was about like 18 years old, I remember I was sitting on my mom's living room floor, I was hand study and I hand made my own first pair of sunglasses and since then maybe two years within our business we were hand studying glasses and we were like we have to take it to the next level and so we actually created our real mass produced design in 2012 where we actually created the design we created the technical drawing and actually had the first prototype in a large mass production and that was the best feeling in the world. We actually slept with the, like 10 pair of glasses in our beds. Like our first samples. Our first samples. We were just that excited. With us as designers, we collaborate with a lot of music artists, so it only makes sense. Like we've collaborated with Don Richard, we've done glasses for Prince, Rihanna, Lady Gaga, and more yeah. musicians. And so our brand has really lined up to musicians, and so it only makes sense for us to DJ to give our consumer and our customers, you know, all of us, they can really feel connected. Advice that I would give young creatives trying to follow their dreams is one, don't only be a creative, but also think about business. You can be so creative, you can make the best art, but if you don't have any business structure, it's a, it's, a, it's gonna be a challenge and be very difficult in order to grow. So I suggest that one, get someone on your team to help you with the business side, or just study, 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 and learn how can you create your, how can you take your art and turn it into a business and be organized. I think a lot of young kids that are starting the businesses and they're in the creative world, they think, oh, you know, I'm gonna do a job per paycheck and then they go shopping and go buy all these designer clothes. No, you never know if like, if you're a photographer, your, your camera may break. So you need to like keep investing into yourself. Like it takes, it takes at least five years to start making profit, but I, I would suggest save and put all your money back into the business because you never know, you have to keep reinvesting into yourself when you don't have investors. And also something that I can suggest to young creatives is to really be strong and really like just go for it. It's very easy to feel like you want to give up if things aren't going your way, but it's all about growing slowly but steadily. If you grow too fast, you'll fall right back down. But having that mindset of like, how do I turn everything into a positive as opposed to a negative? You have two ways of thinking. And I think that when people go through a situation, they look at it, they get so, it's so easy for them to go to the negative side, but in reality, you should always figure out how is that a page to your, to your book. Yep. Everything that happens in life is a story. And so you might miss the train and you're like, you get pissed. So there's no reason to be pissed about that. Everything it's, a happens for you. it's a situation that you can't control. And that's with life as a business person and as a creative that there's certain situations that might happen that you weren't expecting. But remember those situations, look at it in a positive light, and later on you'll add on to something.